Hello dear friends, I am going to teach you now design of logic circuit using multiplexer 74150. What you require? This is your IC 74150. You can see that on top of this one the IC is written, the number is written. This is 24 pin IC is there. This is 16 to 1 multiplexer. What is the meaning of 16 input? It means 16 there are input is here. Data input start from D0 to D15. And there is a stop signal is there. Stop signal is active low. That means when it is low, the IC is going to be activated. When it is going to be high, the IC is going to be inactivated. Now what is the meaning of D multiplexer? Many into one. Many inputs, one output. Any one of the input is steered at the output depending upon the control signals. These are four control signals A, B, C, D are the control signals are there. This is the switch by which you can put it 1 or 0. In upside it is going to be 1, downside it is going to be 0. Here you can see that you have to connect a 5 volt power supply because this is sticky LIC. So exactly 5 volt regulator supply you have to provide plus so and ground you have to connect here nothing else has to be connected with each input there is a switch is given by making the switch up and down you can activate that input high or low when it is in upside then it is going to be high you can see here it is written upside it is going to be high lower side it is going to be low so that way any input you can make it high or low and Similarly, pin number 14 is your VCC, pin number 10 is the output. So, when the output is going to be low, you can see that the LED is going to be power bias. This is a resistance, current limiting resistance and LED is there. So, when the output is going to be low, that means cathode is at a ground potential, anode will be at a VCC potential and it is going to be conducting and LED will be glow which indicates that output is low. Pin number 12 is the ground. Here you can see that 11, 13, 14, 15 is the control signals which you can select. Now, which input is steered at the output that is controlled by ABCD inputs. So, in this experiment, what you have to do first of all? First of all, you have to see that signal is going to be inactive. That means it is high. Now any one of this input you are going to change, output doesn't respond because IC is going to be inactive. So now you make the stop signal low, that means IC is going to be activated. Now I am starting with this control signals are going to be all 0, 0, 0, 0. It is in the downward directions, so all are going to be 0, 0, 0, only D0 will be steered at the output. D0 is going to be high. Then output is going to be low you can see that output is glowing so it is going to be low input side when it is an upside the LED is going to be glow that indicates that D0 is 1 so output is complemented so y is equal to D0 bar will be there any other inputs if you are changing output is not going to be respond you can see that I am changing the input but output is not going to be respond only it is responding to D0. D0 is going to be complemented with the output. Now, if you change the control signals, let us say I change the control signals 0, 0, 0, 1. Now, D1 will be, it is D0 will not be responding. You can say that D0 is changing, but output is not changing. But if D1 is going to be changing, then output is changing. It means that the D1 is steered at the output and Y is equal to D1 bar will be there. So this way, first of all, up to D15, if all are going to be high, here I make that control signal is going to be high, D15 will be responded. So D15 is responding to the output or it is steered at the output. So this is the first thing you have to do in the experiment. That means you have to verify these two tables. Starting from 0, 0, 0. First conditions. All x is going to be x, x, x. When the stop signal is going to be high, this is the stop signal. 
then whatever input may be there output is not responding and output remains to stuck to the high state only when the stop signal is going below it is responding and depending upon the decimal equivalent of abcd that is binary number but you convert into decimal equivalent of binary and then subscript of the de decimal equivalent that input of the data input will be steered at the output and output is going to be complemented you can see that everywhere there is a dash is there so this is the first part of your multiplexer you have to verify this to table and you have to understand that multiplexer is working and any input is steered at the output second one this multiplexer can work as a universal logic circuit any four variable truth table can be implemented using this size just like sum of product equation this is also one kind of sum of product equation so you can see that if you this is the application is given design implement the following boolean expression using 16 to 1 multiplexer the boolean expression is given to you in some of the terms there are only three variables some of the terms there are four variables that means i have taught you in sy f5 sorry that this is not a standard sum of product equation or in mean terms so you convert into the standard sum of product equation canonical equations using all four variables then in terms of the things that it is a sum of product equation in terms of the mean terms that means y is a function of a b c d that is equal to sigma m1 m3 m4 m5 m7 and m9 so now what happens whenever this mean terms is going to be there whenever this data is going to be selected then output should be high that is your requirements so this particular input should be kept low and all other input should be kept in a high state so that way this m1 m3 m4 you can see that this is the equation so m1 mean terms m3 mean terms m4 m5 m7 and m9 m1 m3 m1 means d1 d1 should be low first you make all high yeah keep everything high all input is going to be high out of this whichever input you want low make only that input is supposed to be low that means m1 should be low m3 should be low d that means d3 should be low so m4 m5 m4 and m5 this should be low then 7 should be low and then 9 should be low all other should be high so you can see that now if you are moving this far control signals from 000 to 111 like this way this will be one so if all are going to be 000 000 you can see that output is going to be zero so when it is going to be m1 is going to be selected output is going to be high that means how you can select the m1 0001 that means d1 is selected so the output is going to be high d1 we have kept low so it is complemented and output is going to be high similarly d3 is going to be selected because already it is low so when i am making this one from d2 still output is going to be low d3 it is going to be high you can see that again for the mean term d3 output is going to be high so corresponding to each mean term you require sum of product equation that is output should be high so this way this can implement four variable to table same kind of different application is given here in a design part 2 there is another sum of product equations will be then in a design part 3 there is a third sum of product equations will be there so this way particular inputs whichever mean terms you have selected 
that mean terms is required for sum of product equation fundamental products you can see that corresponding to that input should be made low and other all input should be high and then corresponding that control signals when that particular mean term is going to be selected output is going to be high so this way you have to perform you have to study this multiplexer circuits using 74150 and it can work as a logic circuit design for any four variable protocol thank you very much friends